Answer for the warm up should be negative four X plus three Y. Answer should be eleven X. Answer should be negative three X plus Y. Answer is five Y. Answer should be zero. Negative X minus X is negative two X. Plus X is negative X. Plus X is zero. Y minus Y is zero. Winning numbers today are 4, 9, 12, 15, and 18. Today's objective is to change from slope intercept form to standard form. This is slope intercept. This is standard. Example one. Y equals negative 2x plus 3. We want to change that to AX plus BY equals C form. In order to do that, we must have an X, a sign, and then a Y equals some number. To do that, move the negative 2x to the left and change the sign. There was a plus sign in front of the Y, but it was not written. It was a positive Y, therefore it becomes plus Y when you put something with it. This is it. 2x plus y equals 3. The rules for this form are that you cannot have a negative a term, which is here. You also cannot have any fractions in standard form. If any of those come up, then you have to change. Example 2. We want to change this to AX plus BY equals C form. Move the X term to the left. Change the sign. You now have a negative X term. And remember, you cannot have a negative term in that spot. If you do, simply change the sign of everything all the way through the problem. So your final answer should be 4x minus y equals 3. The answer for this should be 3x plus y equals 4. Practice number 2. On the practice problem, you must move this over to the left, change the sign, but you are not allowed to have a negative number in that spot in standard form, so change the sign of everything. 4x minus y equals a positive 5.
The answer on the bonus should be a negative 2x. The winning numbers are 4, 5, and 9. Example 3. <laughs> y equals a negative 1 half x plus 3. We want to change that to ax plus by equals c. Move this x term over to the left and change the sign. So it's a positive half x plus y equals 3. Now the a term, which is right here, is positive. So there's no need to change the sign of everything, but you cannot have a fraction in the standard form. To get rid of the fraction, you multiply everything by the denominator of the fraction. By doing so, you cancel out that denominator, and you're left with the number on top, 1x, which is simply x. And then 2 times y is 2y, and 2 times 3 is 6. y equals a positive 3 over 4, x minus 6. We want to convert this to ax plus by equals c. Move this x term over to the left and change the sign. Now you have a negative a term. You have to change the sign of everything. So now it's a positive 3 fourths x minus y equals 6. You cannot have a fraction in standard form anywhere. So multiply everything by the denominator of the fraction so that the denominator will cancel out and you're left with the 3 on the top. So you have 3x minus 4 times y equals 4 times 6. On the practice problem, move the 5 6 x to the left to get negative 5 6 x plus y equals 2. You have a negative sign, so change the sign of everything. And then you have to multiply everything by 6 to cancel out with that denominator. You're left with 5x minus 6y equals a negative 12. Answer on the bonus is negative x plus y. Move this to the left side to get 3 halves x plus y equals 8. You have a positive number there, so you don't have to change the sign of everything but you do have to multiply everything by 2 to cancel out the 2 in the denominator to be left with 3x plus 2y equals 16. Answer to the bonus is 3x minus y. Move this to the left. You should have 3 fifths x plus y equals 5. Multiply everything by 5 to cancel out that 5. You're left with 3x plus 5y equals 25.
answer to the bonus should be 2x plus 8y. Here's a problem that you're going to have to think about and see if you can come up with a solution. There are 10 people. And there's the first one. Here is the tenth one. They're all in a line, but they are facing this way, such that this person here can only see the person in front of them. They're in a direct line. They're all facing this direction. They're all going to have a hat put on their head. Somebody's going to walk by and put a hat on their head, but they can't see what it is. The hat is either going to be red or black. Either red or black. Once everybody has a hat on their head, someone will go to the tenth person and say red or black. And the person wearing the hat must guess what color it is. If they guess right then nothing happens they just they stay in line they stay there but if they guess wrong then they're out and everybody in line is going to hear the word out remember each person can only see the person in front of them And when someone comes along to say red or black, they answer red or black. If they're wrong, then they're out, and everybody can hear the word out. If not, they stay in, and everything is good. So let's say we run down through this, and we go to the first person, and they guess red or black. They could be right or wrong. What do you think the outcome on average of this would be? 50%. So the, each one has a 50% chance of getting it right. Do you think there is a way in which you could guarantee at least 9 out of 10 of them stay in line after they've answered the question? Oh, you could say the hats were in a pattern, but... Uh, that remember, this one can only see the hat or the, everybody in front of them. Actually, I may have told you before that they could only see the person in front. I think I meant to say they can see everybody in front of them. So yeah, that's the one way you could do it. So what if there were a pattern? Here are the hats. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. This one looks down the line and sees that this one is red, black, red, black, red, black, red, black, and red. What color would his hat have to be? Does it have to be black? No, it doesn't have to be black. It could be. All of these could be red and black alternating, but his could still be red. It's still possible. So this person can, at the very end, look this way and see all nine of them in front of him. Just as this person can look ahead and see two people in front of him and what color their hats are. What you have to do is work together for the next eight minutes and see if you can come up with some kind of way that there could be at least nine, at least nine out of ten each time that get it right, that stay in the game. Don't forget, they can't say anything other than red or black once they're in line. Beforehand, they can say whatever they want. They also cannot touch each other once they're in line. Here is the solution. Before they get into line, they can be in a group, and they can decide that the first person up that's going to have to answer a question is going to be the one that saves everybody else in the game. That first person is going to answer not based on what he thinks his hat actually is. 
he's going to answer based on odd or even. When they're in the group, they're going to agree that this person is going to potentially sacrifice his self in order to save everybody else in line in front of him. If he says red, then that means he sees an odd number of hats in front of him. If he says black, then that means he sees an even number of hats in front of him. So let's say he looks out in the distance, and what he sees is this. We have red, black, black, red, red, black, red, black, and black. And he's going to determine this based on the number of black hats that he sees. So he's going to answer red or black based on the number of black hats that he sees. He looks out in front of him and sees one, two, three, four, five black hats. So he's going to answer red for his own hat. So whatever he happens to have, let's say he has black and he answers red, he's out. But everybody else hears him answer red. And they know that there is an odd number of black hats from the tenth person on up. So regardless of whatever he answers, uh, he could be in or out. In this case, we'll say he had a black hat, so he's out. He answered red which means he sees an odd number of black hats in front of him. This person now knows that he heard the word out. And he knows that he an the person behind him answered red. He knows that since this person answered red, he saw an odd number of black hats in front of him. Therefore, this person can look out in front of him and see one, two, three, four, five. Still five black hats, which means it's still an odd number of black hats. If that's the case, then this person knows without a doubt that he must have a red hat. This person hears him answer red and knows that he stays in. Now this person here is going to look out in front of him and see one, two, three, four, four black hats. So he knows that there was an odd number of black hats. The, le the person before him answered red and stayed in. Therefore, he must have a black hat. And this pattern continues on until the very last one.